had a lovely holiday in Nice with Ellie and her family. Did some exercise whilst I was out there, so um, just to keep things ticking over. A particular kind of exercise you might find in my YouTube channel. Look for a video called Flyboarding. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, back out on the bike. A bit weird, it all feels a bit new again. Yeah, I, I didn't realise how much I'd got used to wearing all of this silly clothing <laughs> before. Now I feel very sort of vulnerable. I'm looking around behind me seeing if people can see my bottom. Just planned a very easy route today, 15 miles going through the south of London, through Dulwich. It'll be a bit more urban, I guess, going through south London. But that'll be good, it'll get me used to using the bike on roads again and traffic lights and stopping and starting and 15 miles just to kind of ease back into it on a Saturday afternoon evening. Nothing much else to report. Um, I'll just get on with it and see you out there. Bye! This has been a long, steady uphill out of Dulwich Village, up towards Crystal Palace. Oh my god. That's the top. That's the top over there. Nearly there, come on. Come on. I'm going straight across here. Stop filming, George. Crystal Palace Triangle. Used to live here. It's quite a cool area. Very hip. Some cyclists over there. Do I look as cool as them? I definitely don't look as cool as this guy in the yellow jersey coming up. Notoriously one of the steepest hills in South London down from the Crystal Palace Triangle and I've gone the wrong way because I was looking at the guy in the yellow jersey I'd say it was a gradient of about 70% anyway back up the hill that'll be fun I'm getting a negative vibe from you George today you're also speaking to yourself in third person which is a bad sign so I'm getting completely lost they say that about South London, they say it's a bit like a rabbit warren and people who live there are like rabbits. But I am literally going to drive past my old flat. What a trip down memory lane! AKA Gypsy Hill! Brilliant! I'm going a bit fast. Having got lost many times and uh, done lots of U-turns, uh, I've ended up on a quiet residential street and I thought I would uh, talk a bit about the different types of diabetes because I've not really touched on them and, um, and I think I should. So firstly we've got um, type 1. Basically type 1 is an autoimmune disease um, where the pancreas produces little to no insulin. Type 1 is also usually diagnosed um, to people under the age of 20, so usually just after they're born or um, when, they're, when they're a child or as a young adult. And I guess the sad thing about type 1 is that once you're diagnosed with it, at the moment you will live with it uh, for the rest of your life. So then we have type 2. So type 2 diabetes is normally found in older people who are becoming overweight. So 
it is very simply to do with diet and exercise, simply put. But it's not just diet and exercise, age is also a factor. And also it's thought that type 2 diabetes could be hereditary. So if you're the son or daughter of, or the sibling of someone who has recently been diagnosed, it's thought that you're much more likely to be diagnosed with type, type 2 in the future. Type 2 is also um, sometimes called adult onset diabetes. Um, but that's kind of becoming redundant in some countries like the US for where Sammy's from. You know, a lot more kids and children and young adults are being diagnosed with type 2 just because they're not active enough and they're not getting enough activity in their lives. So the difference between type 1 and type 2 is that type 1 is where your pancreas doesn't produce any insulin or in some cases very very little. Type 2 diabetes, your pancreas starts to stop producing insulin as much and also your body doesn't know how to use that insulin efficiently. Also, <coughs> throughout the world at the moment it's thought that about 90% of people who suffer with diabetes are type 2 and only 10% are type 1. So there's also a third type of diabetes which I found out from my extensive research online and it's called gestational diabetes. So gestational diabetes um, can be diagnosed to pregnant women in their second trimester of pregnancy and about 4% of all pregnant women are diagnosed with gestational diabetes. And once they've given birth to their lovely new baby, uh, they will stop suffering from gestational diabetes. Never knew it existed. I bet you Ellie doesn't know it exists either. And I cannot wait to see her face when I'm doing the edit tonight. And she watches this bit back to see whether she knows about gestational diabetes. I think she's gonna be well impressed, personally. <laughs>